Hello guys and gals, me Mudahara and Twitch is killing their platform. Sometimes you wake up and you wonder, God damn, how could I make the dumbest business decision imaginable? Now, uh, I feel like this is kind of like a race between companies, especially when it comes to Twitch. In the last few years, honestly, Twitch has been one of those platforms that takes L after L after L. And uh, I just want to start off by saying Twitch is not the only live streaming platform anymore. I know that people are like, but Twitch is where it's the de facto default for everybody going to live stream. And ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, there's also YouTube live streaming. There's also Kick, okay? Even though Kick has kind of got some issues. Kick, a website where the face of it a couple months ago was literally streaming pornography, uh, they've kind of dialed up the moderation a little bit. Who knows, in the next year they might be normal. Now, when it comes to alternative sites like Rumble and Kick, uh, these sites are getting better in terms of the content that they show on the face of their website and the technologies that power them, okay? There's actually competition in the space. So when Twitch makes some dumbass moves, it kind of makes me laugh and wonder, do they even want to survive anymore? So ladies and gentlemen, advertisements are the lifeblood of a lot of your favorite creators. They're the reason why we're able to afford something like chicken bologna, some cheese, some bread, and the ability to keep a roof over our heads, okay? That's pretty much what it comes down to. Now, you might be like, I hate ads. And trust me, most of us do. In fact, I, I, I'm okay with you using an ad block. I get it. Shit's annoying. And uh, at the end of the day, advertisements really just help keep these websites functioning, and they also help pay the creator so that they can keep producing the content that you like, all without fears of losing their houses and seeing the words foreclosure on a goddamn envelope, okay? So anyways, Twitch has decided to implement some new ad guidelines, okay? So for instance, they have permitted, with the limitation, you can have brand overlays for advertisers limited to 3% of a screen size. Now, I don't know who the fuck is working at Twitch, but goddamn, they need an optometrist. That is a little over 3% of the screen size. You know how I know? Because I'm a mathematics guy, okay? All right, even if I wasn't, my eyes function. <laughs> Formats limited or not allowed. So inserting burned in video ads. Streamers may not insert video ads directly into their streams. Now for a lot of streamers, sponsorships are their lifeblood, okay? Because I'm pretty sure making money through subs and like pretty much relying on the good graces of people throwing money at you isn't necessarily a sustainable income model. You tend to have sponsorships that pretty much give you a baseline level of income so you know that you're keeping your lights on and whatnot, okay? Now, people have criticized Twitch for this, but I just wanna start off by saying this is not something that is exclusive to Twitch. YouTube has the same thing. YouTube creators cannot include promotions, sponsorships, or other advertisements for third-party sponsors or advertisers in their videos where YouTube offers a comparable ad format, including but not limited to pre, mid, and post roles. Now you might be like, whoa, whoa, how is it that YouTubers do paid sponsorships? Well, it's because we are not uploading a direct, uh, you know, ad piece into the beginning of the video, okay? We are actually recording these ourselves and actually giving them the endorsements with our own personal flair attached, okay? That's, from what I understand, that's how it works. Now again, these are touch and feel kind of TOS scenarios, so if people do get hit with this, it's going to be an interesting scenario. Anyways, back to Twitch. Uh, formats limited or not allowed. <laughs> so this is like straight up red. Inserting burned in display ads. Streamers may not insert display or banner ads directly into their streams. Now I know a lot of streamers actually have burned in ads, just part of their sponsorships. Literally in the contracts with some of these sponsorships, you gotta actually have like some presence of their logo at any point in the video. That doesn't seem to be allowed again, Jesus Christ. Burned in audio ads are not allowed anymore. So for a lot of Twitch streamers who rely on sponsorships, Twitch has basically come in like the ultimate pimp and told you, listen, bottom bitch, you're gonna be working for us, okay? We're gonna be making that money. And I think a lot of this came up with the fact that obviously there's a lot of people on Twitch who have sponsorships, a lot of the biggest creators, and the reality of it is, is Twitch wants some of that money too. So if you're actually reaching the actual creator themselves, instead of going through the Twitch ad network, you're costing Twitch money at the end of the day. And it must be significant enough for them to actually do this. Again, you gotta understand, the people working at Twitch have to know this is a bad move. They've been getting ratioed and destroyed by the entire community since I woke up looking at this. So obviously they know, you know, I know. So of course, 
it must be significant enough for them to be willing to take such a PR hit for them to even go down this road. That's where it gets wild. Obviously, streamers contacting them directly cuts into the bottom line for Twitch and really any service out there. Again, for Twitch, it must be significant enough that they have to go out and basically shame themselves in front of the world. I honestly wonder what this could mean for even uh, streamer run events or massive like things like, I don't know, the stream rewards for instance, or like when OTK had their live show in Vegas for instance. I can only imagine what this would mean if like a streamer wanted to host like a video game competition and they would have like banner advertisements, obviously to pay for the event because of course Twitch revenue or revenue generated is not going to be enough to cover it. That how, that's how these events happen. I could imagine what Twitch would say in regards to this. There are some allowed exceptions, which we'll look into, but I am fearful of what'll happen with like events that are being run. That would be a shocker. I wanna see if these new guidelines conflict with that. And if they do, will Twitch back down? Now it's even wilder is that like, they've implemented what you can do, all right? So here you can have branded panels on your channel page, okay. Uh, and then you can showcase products in your stream background. So literally the way that I used to have G Fuel in the background, I'm not sponsored by them anymore, yeah, you can do that, including links to other sites that promote things. Yeah, that 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 uh that 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 all tracks. Uh, I'm glad that they allowed you to do that. Discussing, endorsing, or unboxing products or services. Yeah, I, I would imagine they would allow you to do that. So it would be so wild if they actually banned this too. And of course, playing sponsored games, which again has been something that's been happening on Twitch for as long as any new game that comes out. You wonder why people are playing it on streams. It's because they got paid to, or they got a key early, and they're just taking advantage of Twitch drops and the ability to get high viewership on day one. Now, where it's like, well, you can't do branded content for, okay, so obviously you can't like promote hateful products, okay? No illegal products, I can't sell drugs on the internet, goddamn. Certain gambling products, offshore crypto gambling sites, you can't deal with. Unauthorized sharing of private information, so you can't look up like private info websites. Spam, scams, and other malicious content. So you can't sell people like GT Online hacks through Twitch, okay? That is normal, that's totally okay. Additionally, we do not allow the following products and services. Okay, this is a doozy. So you can't uh, do prohibited branded content for, well, this is branded content that's prohibited. You can't do weapons. So a lot of the gun tubers that I know, well, Goodbye. <laughs> Which again, I like guns, but I guess it's not ever going to be advertiser safe. Adult oriented products such as porn, sex, and male enhancement products. Can't talk about no Viagra on Twitch. God, that's actually a pretty big sponsorship. That's, that's gone. Tobacco and other related products such as cigarettes, e-cigarettes, vape pens, and chewing tobacco. Now, I don't understand if you're over 18 years of age, can you not like, can you not set your stream to 18 and, and get a sponsorship for a cigarette company? I'm not, that's so wild. Certain financial products such as ICO, initial coin offerings, multi-level marketing, and get rich quick schemes. Thank you, that should never be allowed. These are all scams. Medical facilities and products such as prescription drugs, medical trials, pharmacies, miracle cures, and drug treatment centers. I guess I just want to get rid of all of it, even if it's like, you know, the weird like homeopathic or like the weird, um, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, I guess you could say like the traditional medicine, right? Where it's just unproven stuff. Political content, including paid promotion of politicians, political parties. I'm glad they're covering all bases, but then again, I, I have to imagine certain streamers actually do stream with politicians. Uh, I guess just not taking money from them is, is I guess what they want. They want to be a totally neutral platform. Cannabis related products, all right? You can't talk about the good kush, okay? Finally, we allow branded content for certain products such as alcohol. So wait, how is it that alcohol is allowed, but then you can't talk about political content or even tobacco or weed, all right? Suddenly you've allowed booze but you're not gonna allow the other, so, like the other legal drug that is tobacco, okay? You're not gonna allow people to talk safely about weapons. This is the most insane levels of advertiser, like content, like guidelines that I've seen. And it really does step in 
to a lot of creators. And again, mostly for creators who rely on these sponsorships in order to keep themselves alive. Now for me, this isn't that big of a deal because I'm not a Twitch streamer, okay? I'm just laughing at it from the outside. But something like this could easily be brought over to YouTube. It could easily be brought over to Kick or Rumble or whatever, okay? At the end of the day, advertisers run the internet as sad as it sounds. And uh, it is up to them to pretty much d dictate what kind of content we can even produce, which is sad to say. There's really no way around it. And that's one of the big problems for Twitch right now. A, it's they've got to deal with like basically like uh, slapping down on mature content or content that isn't advertiser friendly. Uh, and then they got to make sure the advertisers go through them to the creators. So for a lot of you creators whose lifeblood pretty much relied on sponsorships, Twitch may not be a good place for you to roll on, okay? Because who knows how far they go. This is a terribly boneheaded move. And uh, honest to God, if there's some streamers thinking of switching to Kick, Rumble, or even YouTube, come on board, buddy pal. Because let me tell you right now, the ship's only going to sink further. In fact, this is a, such a massive like uh, L on their part that because of the massive ratio the community received this morning, they actually went back and apparently rewrote a bunch of things. So Twitch said, today's branded content policy was overly broad. No, n of course it was. We do not intend to limit streamers' ability to enter into direct relationships with sponsors. And we understand this is an important part of how streamers earn revenue. They knew this before they even made those guidelines. They understand how this industry works. We wanted to clarify our existing ads policy and that was intended to prohibit third-party ad networks from selling burned-in video and display ads on Twitch, which is consistent with other services. And that is true, but obviously look at how broad some of these things were written. Obviously for streamers, the one example I made in this video in regards to hosting like your own co uh, uh, you know, competitions or conventions and streaming that on Twitch with obvious burned-in advertisement. We missed the mark with the policy language and we'll rewrite the guidelines to be clear. Now, I hope to God this just means that they've absolutely backed away from this. And this isn't some situation where as soon as the heat dies down, they might piecemeal re-implement this back in. Again, there's been a fair amount of creators who have absolutely called for boycotts to Twitch. And given how much competition they have, in the space now, the boycotts make sense. You can abandon Twitch and start streaming on their alternative platforms, which is why their response today has been so quick because they don't wanna burn what little they have left in this regard, especially when they realize they're not the only live streaming space in the game anymore. That said though, System Shock 2 is one of the best games of all time. And if you haven't played it, give it a try. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to throw that in there because I like it. This is me, Mudahar, and uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.